this is uh, Nokia's um, new Maps solution, right? Yes, this is Nokia Maps uh, 3.0 beta. We are still in beta with this um, release. We will go into commercial in Q2 this year. So what you're seeing here uh, right now is a 3D landmark of Sagrada Familia in Barcelona. Um, and this is one of the key new features in the 3.0 release that we added in. Uh, currently we have 6,000 3D landmarks for uh, global major world cities, uh, which makes it basically um, 30 landmarks per more than 200 cities in the world. Uh, another new features in 3.0 are high-res aerial satellite images and an entirely new terrain map mode as well. All of the three are available in 2D as well as 3D map view, as you can see here. Uh, another new feature that we have added in here is also real-time weather information. Uh, the, the, globe, uh, the coverage for this is global. What you see right here on the screen is uh, the weather forecast for today in Barcelona. And let me just retrieve uh, the weather for the next four days. So this is weather in Barcelona for today and for the next four days. In terms of uh, other features, let me show you now real-time pedestrian navigation. So let me choose a place from the map. Um, I do first pedestrian navigation. I choose a destination from the map. And here we go. The route is now being calculated and now I'll do a simulation of pedestrian navigation in Barcelona. So what you see here is still the 3D landmark of Sagrada Familia. So it's also available during pedestrian navigation. The red dot indicates your current GPS position. The white arrow is pointing you the direction to go. Um, the lower street panel indicates the street that you're currently on. And the black upper uh, street panel indicates you the next street you're supposed to be turning next. So you can also display pedestrian navigation in 3D, then hybrid is basically satellite map view with street overlays and terrain map mode as well. Okay, I'll stop now pedestrian navigation and do a simulation of car navigation. So let me choose a different place from the map. Now I choose a destination, for example this restaurant. The green icon indicates that it's a point of interest of a restaurant. So let's go there, drive, and here we go. And simulation. So major improvements for car navigation in Maps 3.0 are lane assistance, right. just what you see here. So the three uh, Blue After icons indicate the lanes that you're right. supposed to take. Obviously, there is voice guidance uh, and it's all real time turn by turn. We also had speed limit warners, so when you're driving over the speed limit, the application will notify you, obviously. We also have real time traffic information for 19 countries in the world and also a speed camera of warners. Now turn right. And obviously, the aim with our car navigation solution is to be on par with any traditional PNDs. After 300 meters, go straight ahead and then you will reach your destination. Okay, I stop this. In the commercial release, we will have um, another new feature. Basically, we are extending the coverage of these POIs. Currently what you see on the map, these are POIs from our map data provider Navtec. And we are adding in new branded POIs by Lonely Planet for traveling, uh, by Via Michelin for dining out, and by W Cities for events. So extending the coverage for, for them. Uh, the coverage for map data itself, we are supporting now over 200 countries in the world. 
all of which over 70 are navigable, so you can do real-time pedestrian as well as car navigation in those. And it takes about 4 gigabytes of memory? Yes, so uh, Nokia Maps is a hybrid solution. It works both online and offline, so it's off-board and on-board. And uh, the user can preload the map data in advance. So if you're, for example, traveling to a new country and you don't have the map data on your mobile device, you can preload uh, the map through Nokia Map Loader, which is a free PC solution. You can download it from uh, maps.nokia.com. And in total, those 200 countries, they are 4.4 gigabytes, which, for example, this device comes with 8 gigabytes of memory, so you can literally have the world in your pocket. Uh, this is uh, from the acquisition Gate 5. Uh. Yes, so Nokia acquired a uh, Berlin-based navigation company Gate 5 in October 2006. And the software is being developed in-house by Nokia. And it's only working on Nokia phones, of course? It's, yes, it's working on selected Series 60 devices. Uh, it's roughly over uh, 20 Series 60 devices at the moment and also on Series 40 devices as well, selected. Great, thanks a lot. Welcome.